Hey everyone, and welcome to the Hemp Horticulture Series. Today, we'll be explaining how a Kratky hydroponic system works. A Kratky hydroponic system is the most basic of all the hydroponic systems available and truly exemplifies what a passive hydroponic system can do. While it has its drawbacks, the fact that this system requires no electricity to run makes this one of the few off-the-grid hydroponic options available to a grower. So first, what is a crack key system? While the setup looks oddly similar to a water culture system, the one difference is the omission of an air pump and air stone. And by taking away the ability for the roots to obtain oxygen through the water, you'll need to supply the plant with oxygen another way. And the other way is naturally through the roots. The idea here is that by providing an air gap between the roots and the nutrient water, the parts of the roots that are exposed to the air, the air roots, are able to provide oxygen the plant needs, and the tips of the roots that are in contact with the nutrient water, the water roots, are able to provide the nutrients and water. And as the plant grows larger, the equilibrium between the air roots, water roots, and water level is constantly maintained as everything moves in unison. As the water roots take in the nutrient water and grows longer, the water level moves down with it. And as the water level moves down, the larger and larger air roots have more space to breathe. But there's one obvious flaw here as well, since unless you have an extremely large water reservoir, there's a limit to how long a plant can thrive in a cracky system before the nutrient water runs out, which is why the system is mainly known for growing leafy plants with short life cycles like lettuce. However, there are ways around this drawback, as once the nutrient water has been completely used up, you still have two options to keep feeding the plant. The first and safest option is to refill the nutrient water completely and then to prevent the plant from drowning, just add an air pump and air stone, effectively converting the Kratky system into a water culture system. The second option is to refill the nutrient water only partly to maintain the balance between the air roots and water roots. From my experience, refilling a fourth of the water reservoir is a safe amount to ensure that the plant doesn't drown. However, this requires constant attention because typically by this time, the plant is so large that it can use up this amount of nutrient water really quick in a week or less. So from this point on, the water levels will need to be constantly monitored and refilled to ensure that the plant doesn't wilt. A riskier option is to refill half the water reservoir with nutrient water. And this is the most I'd recommend refilling it to. With the benefit being that you'll need to refill it less often, but this comes with a higher chance of weakening the roots, making it more susceptible to things like root rot, or even the possibility of drowning the plant. Finally, with a lack of water movement, any nutrients in the water will start to settle at the bottom over time, making the available nutrients where the water roots are inconsistent. That along with the difficulty of changing out the nutrient water from a grow to a bloom mix without affecting the water level in the water reservoir makes nutrient imbalances more likely the longer the growth cycle. But in the end, all of these small drawbacks are manageable, making the crack key method a surprisingly simple and viable option for growing hemp with hydroponics without the need of electricity.
And that's it. Like the content? Then be sure to check out our beginner's guide to creating CBD products from scratch. Available at Amazon in print and digital with links in the description below. You can also find us at hempinapot.com.